Hi everyone, this is Linda, and I said I'd do a video on making hearts using the software. Now, making these hearts are just one thing that you can do. There's all kinds of hearts that exist in your software in order to make simple quilted hearts. Um, I'm going to use the MisoNet Platinum to do this in the video, but you can do this in multiple versions of the software. So I'm going to create simple using couple, simple hearts using WordSculpt, a motif and encore, super designs, frames, borders, quilt block wizard. So there's a bunch of different ways you can create hearts. Um, some features you can use in different versions of the software, not all versions of the software let you do this. Um, if you have just a basic version of the software, you probably won't be able to do a whole lot, but you could use the quick design app that I did another video on by finding a nice, simple piece of clip art that's nothing but a heart and bringing it in and then bringing it into your software. So there is another video that talks about that. To actually stitch this out, you're gonna use two pieces of fabric, one for the front, one for the back, a piece of batting, or you can use a couple layers of flannel. Cutaway stabilizer is optional and a button or ribbon. Okay, so there's all kinds of different ways you can do hearts and we're gonna talk about that in the software. But basically to put them together, all you're gonna need is a top fabric, a piece of batting, or you can use flannel or a couple layers of flannel just to kind of give it that quilt kind of look. Um, and then a back piece of fabric. Now I happen to have a piece of batting in here or a piece of stabilizer just to cut away in there just because most of the time I'm not hooping all the layers. I'm usually going to just have my piece of stabilizer and then I'm going to just lay my batting and my top fabric on top and then I just kind of tape on the back side I will tape the um, other fabric but that's personal preference now I tend to do these I do a bunch of them at one time but you want to fit it so that it's about an 80 by 80 hoop for this particular thing so let's get started on that oh the other things you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of ribbon and you're gonna need a button now flat buttons like this you can actually do um, and do them in your machine and I actually will tack um, my piece of ribbon with that as well as do my button so it's personal preference other buttons you're going to have to actually do the hand sewing and I love having these kinds of felt buttons because I can do exactly that it makes it really easy but I do that on the sewing machine part not in embroidery so let's get started. Now you could use the same process to make Christmas ornaments, to do just about anything you want. It doesn't have to be these particular hearts. So let's get started on what we're going to do in the machine itself, or in the software. So there's my new window, and I'm going to choose a blank canvas, and I'm going to choose the 80 by 80 hoop. And so we're going to get started. Very simple one, just a basic heart shape. You can actually go into um, Create, Word Sculpt. Now, Word Sculpt didn't come out until Premiere Plus 2 Extra. Um, it's also in Ultra. It's in um, my Sonet Gold and my Sonet Platinum. So we're going to go and we're going to go find the heart. So it's in the shapes, and I'm just going to scroll down here until I find my heart. This is a very simple, basic heart. No fancy anything to it. Oop. It's in here someplace. There's a heart. I want the, it's going to fit in the 80 by 80 hoop, so I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller, maybe like a 75, so, and change it. It's going to default to a satin, but I don't want it to be a satin. I actually want it just to be a straight stitch. I could also go into motifs. I could do triple stitch. I could do whatever I want really right here. And you could go, if you were doing motifs, you could go to options and choose different motifs. So I'm going to cancel out of that because I just want it to be a straight stitch. I can do it as triple if I want extra th thickness to it. So then I'm going to do next. It's going to default and it's going to put some words in there and I don't want any words so I'm just going to delete them. I have no words. Finished. Very basic art. It's all done. All I have to do is go stitch it out. Do a bunch of repeats. I'm done. Um, again, it's not going to be quilted per se, but it'll at least be the shape of the heart. And then I just take pink pinking shears and cut around the outside edge, add my ribbon, and add a button. That's all there is to that one. So let's pick on another one. There's also hearts in Super Design, so I'm just going to delete this one out of here. 
and we're going to go into Super Designs, and I'm going to type in search, and I'm going to do hearts, enter, and there's all kinds of hearts. There's even some very basic hearts. And the size I want, because I'm using that 80 by 80 hoop, I want to use, um, I want to make, I'm going to make this 75, I'm going to see what happens if I hit apply. That's going to give me a little bit more substantial. I can do a couple of different hearts that are there. So um, the other thing is, if I wanted to choose the applique heart, again, same size, I would hit apply and probably only sew out the first and the second parts of an applique. The other place you can find hearts, and you can go into frames. Now, in Premiere Plus 2 in the older versions, you have frames and you have borders. So let's talk what you see in the frames area first. In the frames area, you would have this capability, and you could go in here and you could choose um, applique shields, which would be, again, an applique. Um, you could go down here. You could find a couple of different hearts, uh, whatever you want. Let's say I want to use that one. This one gives me the ability to change stitch type. I can choose to anything I want, pretty much. And it's right now it's candle wicking, but I could change to anything. Um, looking at my other little change. Okay. I could also go to the frame tab that in, in here it's the frame tab, but in Premiere Plus 2 in the older versions, there was a border tab. And when you went and chose the border tab, you had this center area here that lets you change some things. So I'm just going to do here and I'm going to do um, I'm going to select a motif. Oh, I'm going to go to the, in the older versions of the software, you would go to the border tab. In the my Sonet software, it's actually in the frame tab. And I'm going to do a single motif for this particular one, because this one we're going to use Encore. So again, another place to go. Let's go pick a motif. And I went, this time I went into Who's Grind a Viking. I went to scallops, which gives me a really cool effect here. I'm going to just use this one here. I'm going to do OK. And then I'm going to hit, oh, I forgot. Only do one repeat. One repeat. Apply. Takes it a second, and there it is. So now I can take that to Encore and kind of do the same kind of thing. I'm going to go and choose a shape. I'm going to choose a heart. And it won't give me the choice on the number of repeats and those kinds of things because it's automatically going to guess based on different things. Now, if you want your gap to be less than that, I'm going to leave it like that just so you can see what happens. Very cool. All right, I need to make this a little bit skinnier and a little bit different looking. But that gives me kind of a, a different look and kind of puts a happy face in there if I really want it to be there. I'm going to hit Apply. Now, I could actually get rid of this one by going home, or I can, in, you would be ungrouping this. So, with the MySonet software, I just come over here, and I'm going to click on um, ungroup. In the other software, you would do a right mouse click and choose ungroup. And I want to get to the one that's this one here in the center here. And I want to delete that. So, there it is. And there, just another version of a heart. Again, when you're all done... You take your little pinking shears and cut that out. Attach your ribbon, attach your button. All right, so the other one was the quilt block wizard, which is a totally different one altogether. So I'm going to do a control A, select everything, and it's all going to be gone. And I'm going to this time go to the create tab again. I'm going to the quilt block wizard, and I'm going to choose outline quilt block filled inner shape. I'm going to do next. I'm going to do a shape of a square because it's just going to be the outside edge. It's not that big a deal. So I want to make this about a 79, which makes it almost fill up the entire 80 by 80 hoop. Next, I'm going to choose my shape, which is a heart, which is down here towards the bottom here. And I'm going to pick that heart. I want it to fill up as much of the space as possible, so I'm going to change this to like 75. Remember my hoops, 80 by 80. If I make this right at 80 by 80... See, it turns red, and I don't want it to do that, so I'm going to make it 75. Red means it's not; it's too big for the area, and I'm going to leave it at 75, which makes it as large as it possibly can get, or really close. I'm going to do next. 
default is stippling. I don't want it to be stippling. I could choose motif. I could do a couple of different things here. So it defaults to the stars, but I'm going to change this up really totally differently. And I want hearts. Now, I could actually change and add a second motif. So let's do that. Second motif. And I'm going to say, use a second motif. And this time, oh, let's pick on something. Oh, we'll just pick on a, a little girl there. We're going to do OK. And there it is. But I want to offset this a little bit. So again, I'm going to go to Options. I'm going to go to Spacing. And I'm going to change my horizontal to 50. And I'm going to maybe change some gap in here, maybe to 25, just to kind of give it a little different look. And that spread them out just a little bit. And then I can hit Finish. So once I have this created, um, it's all created, but it adds this extra little set of stitches that I really don't want. I'm going to change the color here so this really stands out a little bit better. So we're just going to pick on a brighter color. And so what I want to do is I need to go to the Modify tab to get rid of this extra stuff. But first, let's see how this plays out so you can actually watch what happens. Start at the beginning, and I'm going to just speed this up. It's doing all of that. And then it starts to draw this section here. But then it continues and draws around the heart. Did you see this? It's kind of coming around here. Watch it. I'm going to take it a second, and there it comes. It's coming down here, and it's going to continue to draw out. And all I need gone is this outside edge. So I'm going to hit Cancel. So in the Premiere Plus 2 Extra, Premiere Plus 2 Ultra, my Sonet Gold, and my Sonet Platinum, you have this capability. Now you do in the Premiere Plus Extra and Premiere Plus 2, to, I'm sorry, Premiere Plus, Ultra, and some of the older versions. As long as you have the Modify or the Edit tab, you can do this. So what I'm going to do is because remember if it kind of comes in and it sews this and then it sews this area along here, I could do the design player here and watch it sew out, but I know that I just need to get rid of these. So to do that, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to click, hold, and drag a box, and I'm going to get rid of those. Delete. I just found this was quicker and easier than running it through the player, but I got to be careful not to grab things I'm not supposed to. So, see, if I played the player, it would be harder for me to tell at what point do I need to cut things away. So, because this, I know, and having that little gap in there makes it really not too bad. And delete and now I can go home and now all I have is the heart again stitch it out um, with your three layers add a little button and a piece of ribbon and there's your heart it's that simple